Welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast <laughs> Show. And in this segment of Breaking Truckers, we're going to take a look at TikToker Chelsea Chambers, better known as the professor of trucking on TikTok. In this clip that we're going to look at, man, she has a very, very interesting story of a driver that held their load hostage, man. Now, this is not for the truck drivers. This is more for, for the dispatchers and for the fleet managers of, of their companies, right? Have you got a driver and he kind of held your truck, your, your freight, or your trailer hostage? If so, let us know in the comments below, all right? In this clip right here, man, she, she, <laughs> she goes on to say, that the driver was just being, just being a total asshole, a total dick. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. This is a really crazy story. So long story short, the driver picked up um, some bricks and he did not check it. The shipper also loaded them all into the middle, which he was not supposed to do. But the driver was also supposed to check it before he left the facility. But what happened next after spending $13,000 the owner getting it out and getting the freight back and the truck back because the trailer was total. The driver then proceeds to hold another load hostage. He held the load hostage. Yes, he held the load hostage. You want to know how? So I did not hire this driver. This driver just was working with this company um, and he was scheduled to pick up a load at eight o'clock that morning. He, however, he had a sleeping problem, and that's a whole nother story. This, a lot of things happened leading up to this point. But when this load, he picked it up at about 9.45, and he hadn't even made it out of the city that he was in by 10 o'clock that night. And mind you, the load needed to be picked up, I mean, to be dropped off in a couple states away. So the actual travel time was about 17 hours. And that doesn't include, like, of course, his break. So at this point, of course, you know, the broker is calling it's the next morning by now, right? Broker's calling, wanting to know where it is. He can see on the tracker that this person hadn't even made it out of the state where he started. Mind you, he, we were on a really tight delivery time. We really had no time to be late. And at this point, he's still 10 hours away from where he's supposed to be. But this, again, this person had a sleeping problem, right? overslept for everything I, I just i don't understand so the broker is calling and at this point they're like hey listen we can see where he is just tell him take it back just tell him take it back and of course the broker's on my tail and um you know i'm on the company owner's tail trying to tell him like look this is what's going on like at this point you know the driver was getting mad at me talking about oh you're you keep harassing me and i'm trying to get some rest and i'm like what like you are we're on a tight schedule right now what what's going on like talk to me so he blocked me i couldn't get in contact with him he called the owner of course talking about i'm harassing him about this load he got it he's going to be on time and there's no way impossible he's going to be on time he has to be there by 2 p.m um i think the next day so you still had a lot of time travel time you had at least 900 miles to go so you weren't going to make it so the broker is like get in contact with him now like we need to know where he is tell him take it back tell him take it back so this person i don't know how he ended up calling the company and starting all this crazy nonsense and eventually that he got in touch with the broker on his own and he told the broker like i'm going to deliver it. i'm going to deliver it broker said no take it back take it back to the point where they had us call the police on and the, bro the broker called the police on him and everything. And he told them he wasn't going to take it back unless he sent him some money. So I'm watching the GPS like, where is this man going? He's going to all these different truck stops. And which, of course, when I look into his history, I look and see that's what he's been doing. Just going to a bunch of different truck stops. Long story short, he made them pay $700 in order for him to return it. And he took it to the truck stop and cashed the check. Man, guys, drivers, truckers, fleet managers, man, what do you guys think? It is, it, it's already hard for a young owner operator just getting his trucking company off the ground. It's already bad enough that he got to go and vet these truck drivers. 
you know it's just unfortunate that all these truck drivers that comes in that's looking for trucking jobs are the same drivers that's gonna mess you over that's gonna fuck you up excuse my language didn't mean to say fuck you up but it's what it is some of these drivers just you know just feel some kind of way and i don't understand it you're here to make money they there to make money let's make money together if it doesn't work don't tear up their trucks okay just bring their truck and trailer back to where you got it from and then you can probably go and find somebody else but these are the same drivers that always say well look i don't want to work for the mega carriers i don't want to work for the big companies i want to work for a small mom and pop company and all like that but then when y'all get with that mom and pop company y'all fuck them too man so what i just say is vet the drivers and i know it's kind of hard to do because you can only see what's on paper and you can only tell what they're going to actually do when they actually come on to the uh the company with you but i would tell you this if you see red flags try to take care of that before it becomes a major catastrophe did you guys see the other clip that 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 was in there as well that the truck driver got into an accident didn't even check the load and the load shifted and it and it crumbled the trailer this is the same driver guys truck drivers fleet managers let me know what you think in the comments below that's going to do it for this segment of breaking truckers on the lockout man podcast show